It's amazing how important one facility can be, not only for the company that owns it, but for the community that it's located in, the people who work there, and for the entire world, actually. BASF recently invited me to Littlehampton, a small town located along the southern coast of England, to celebrate the expansion of their facility there. It's the company's only site for the manufacture, research and development, sales and distribution of its entire range of nematode-based biological control products for the global market. The expansion effectively doubles the plant's fermentation capacity to 190,000 liters. It's actually a very special place for BASF. Joseph Haber is head of BASF Functional Crop Care in Europe. He told me that not only is the Littlehampton facility important to BASF's European market, it's also hugely valuable to BASF's customers around the globe. So we are present at grower level with our crop protection products. That's what they know, but they ask more future. So they want to be more effective with regard to the seed performance. They want to be more effective with regard to nitrogen use. Yeah, they want to have plants which are more stress resistant. And here we can offer more than we could in the, do in the past. So we have great products to better manage nitrogen uptake. We can manage seed uh, in, in a way that the performance is much better. And we can also protect plants with biologicals in case chemicals need some, some support on top. The products produced in Littlehampton help accomplish that vision, he says. So we have a growing demand on, on, on uh, uh, inoculants in Europe because the area of, is, is growing everywhere and it's politically wished that legumes play a bigger role in the rotations. So here we have a great opportunity to supply a growing market right away out of Littlehampton. He says the Littlehampton facility expansion is a testament to how the demand for these products is growing in Europe and beyond. I think it's, it's, it's a great signal to, to our customers that we are now much better equipped with, with, with supply. And it's also a, a clear, a, I think a clear commitment from a big company to deliver high quality products. So growers knew about the inoculants, but they never trusted them because sometimes they got products which were not stable, they didn't know how to mix it, they didn't get the service. So now a little hand plus the service of the big company, I think this could make a big difference and will make it. Yeah. Mike Finney is Key Country Sales Manager, Biologicals and Turf, Europe, Middle East and Africa for BASF. With the market for biologicals growing, he sees a bright future ahead for functional crop care and by extension, uh, for the facility in Littlehampton as well. Well, speaking from my background, which is responsible for the non-crop part of our business, you know, we see a, a great potential for biologicals. And one of the things we're very excited to showcase today is our expansion with our beneficial nematode products and our inoculant business. And we see this really as being a key answer to grow with solutions, use these solutions throughout the next few years. The first launches from the functional crop care pipeline actually started in 2015 with two products called Lemus and Seraphil. I wanted to know how Mike manages such a varied and unique portfolio. Okay, well my background is really from working with the beneficial nematode products in our non-crop bus non business, which is quite a unique sector. So here we have to clearly define our products, how they fit to address growers and users' needs. And really with BSF, the exciting thing is we have a great potential in our technical teams, in our crop business, in our non-crop business to deliver these solutions. He added that he's looking forward to what's coming down the road in terms of new product innovations. I think, you know, the real exciting thing is the speed now of these technologies and how they're getting to markets. So we've seen biologicals are not new. Academically, we've been talking about these products for many years, but now we really see big companies, BSF, investing in biologicals, getting those through the markets, through regulation, as quickly as possible and into the growers' hands. Graham Gowling is group leader, global biologicals marketing for functional crop care. His first degree was actually a bachelor's degree in agricultural zoology. So he knows what it's like to help run a facility that manufactures actual living creatures. Uh, biological products have been around for a number of years and they've been starting by be becoming kind of niche solutions for 
growers that are trying to be innovative in terms of where they are moving and how companies are bringing those products to, to the market. But what you're seeing a change now is how biologicals can be incorporated in the full crop protection portfolio, bringing them together with chemistry to provide solutions that will enhance the crop protection so that growers and farmers are meeting those regulatory standards and quality standards that they now need to address. BASF markets its biological inoculants and nematode products throughout the world. Uh, these products have been marketed to commercial growers and gardeners alike for over two decades. Uh, that's a long time for a product to enjoy such widespread use and such a devoted following. He attributes this success to several things. So indeed, yes, as you go to each country, the, the specific needs are, are different in terms of what they are, but fundamentally, what we are looking for is to, to provide improved solutions. And the way we as BSF can do that, of course, is because we have that reach. Yeah? We are active in all these countries. We have people on the ground supporting the industry where we have solutions in there. What we're doing is fitting the functional crop care portfolio to that to provide an enhancement of that product offering. Philip Rosendorfer is Vice President, Research and Development for BASF Functional Crop Care. He was so proud of the newly expanded facility in Littlehampton. The whole exciting story of uh, beneficial nematodes started right here in Littlehampton. Uh, it started 25 years ago with uh, a collaboration with universities, with local universities, and it, it uh, then and, uh, continued with uh, small production, uh, bigger uh, production, larger production, and today we are doubling our capacity. And I would say we have been, we definitely have the worldwide largest production of beneficial nematodes uh, here in Little Hampton, and, and that is an important factor for us. He said he expects the expanded facility to better facilitate research and development of these biological products. Important to know is that right here in Little Hampton, we have both. We have uh, manufacturing of beneficial nematodes, but we also have the R&D uh, colleagues working here. And uh, this uh, interaction, close interaction between the R&D community we have here, the R&D team and the manufacturing, of course, creates a lot of uh, cross-fertilization. Now, the expansion of, the, of, the, of uh, our capacity clearly will need to a better market penetration uh, and with our products and broaden our market base. And this will feed back to our research people uh, with a better, even better, broader understanding of market needs and probably, or for sure also, the identification of additional market potentials, which then will feed in back to the development of new products. He's optimistic about the fact that biologicals are playing a more important role in farming around the world and that the facility in Littlehampton is a part of that. You're absolutely right. Biologicals play an, increasing, an increasingly important role in the area of crop protection and this journey will continue for sure. Why is that? Uh, because biologicals have a complete different mode of action compared to conventional uh, crop protection products based on classic chemistries. And, uh, and, and this offers a clear benefit for the farmer at the end of the day because you can combine the mode of action classic chemistries have with the mode of action of biologicals. And together, this brings a complete, a more holistic solution to the market. And uh, our beneficial nematode technologies here fit exactly in, the, in, in, in that uh, philosophy because they have for sure a very specific, a very, very uh, exotic mode of action. And uh, they are addressing completely different uh, problems than we can address with classic chemistries. For Philip, what makes an expansion like this worthwhile at the end of the day is not just that BASF is expanding its product line, but that the company is actually contributing to a much larger and important global goal. Well, it's not only about a world of 9 billion people. Uh, in parallel, our resources are very limited, or even, even worse, uh, we talk about eroding arable land. We are talking about increasing water scarcity. Uh, so it will be more and more difficult to feed this upcoming 9 billion people. And uh, the fundamental question for us all is yeah, how, to, how to increase uh, yield sustainable while optimizing this input cost. And, and that's why we believe, we strongly believe, uh, we, we have, we must look for innovations, solutions beyond conventional crop protection, beyond controlling weed uh, diseases and pest insects. 
That's why we have founded our uh, global business unit, Functional Crop Care, to really look for innovations going beyond conventional crop care. And this includes uh, nutrient management uh, technologies like our Lemus technology, which uh, enhances the use efficiency of urea fertilizer, uh, avoiding losses uh, due to uh, decomposition based on, on urea acid enzymes in soil. This includes also biologicals complementing classic chemistries, uh, and this includes also the beneficial nematodes addressing specific needs in, in the market. So, all together, uh, we see a major contribution on our side to these challenging questions of our human being on Earth.